Hello guys, welcome back to Service Now 911. In today's lecture, we are discussing about CMDB Query Builder. Once you understand how to use Query Builder, your life will be so relieved because you know how complex the CMDB can go. In terms of relationship, it is like uh, you know, add number of drill down relationships are there. These are some of the advantages of Query Builder. It is a non-admin thing. Means being a non-admin, being ITIL, you can create a Query Builder. and it will create such a complex query for you in a very easy manner it is a no code utility and a powerful alternative to database view where you have to write a script when we create database view we need to specify the tables and all we have to write a query and as the number of table increases the complexity will also increase when you write a script but in cmdb query builder all this complexity will be handled by service now you just need to drag and drop and boom you can save schedule and export the queries of cmdb query builder just like a report even you can write scriptable apis to retrieve the list of cis okay so this is the example which i want to show you today in this example i am running a query which will return list of servers and associated web servers and then associated service so that we understand the dependency between services and servers like which service is hosted on which web server and which web server is related to which physical server so let's go to the instance right away this is my instance just write down cmdb query builder click on it you will see this interface click on create new provide a name here click on create at the left hand side you can see all the classes all the tables which are available cmdb classes non cmdb all the tables are available at the right hand side you can see all the filter options or the properties so let's find out the very first table that is the services let's write down service here and we'll find the service this one this is the services cmdb ci services just drag it and drop here now let's find the second node that is the web server service host on web server so this is the web server drag here now let's find the server table where all these things are hosted right on server here under hardware you can see this is the server just drop it here so we started with services then we go to web server then the server okay now we have to connect all this to establish connection just click on here and then click here okay you see a relationship here now the properties of this relationship is here at the right hand side you can see the parent is service and child is web server and we have to provide the relationship type here click on it by default you can see the relationship type here this is the common one which is used in the cmdb relationship table it is automatically finding you that one but if you are not sure just click on any relationship type done now connect web server to server click here and click here now again here also we have to provide the relationship type so again click here if so you see two types are already there because system is automatically finding you the one which it see in the relationship table okay so let's click on any relationship type just to be sure so now this is it we just dragged it dropped it and just added some relationship now click on run this is the result in front of us everything is very crystal clear so you see this particular service depends on this web server and again this web server is hosted on this server you can to see the result server wise just group by server so you see the result in front of you you can easily see the dependencies from here okay on web server on servers on services everything is in front of you no need to code anything no need to uh, like create a database view just use cmdb query builder and make your life easy so i hope it will help you in future and save your time subscribe to the channel see you in next video till then bye bye take care